Hi, um, it seems like every time I want to do a different video, I end up making a vlog. And I'm starting to wonder why that is. Um, but I think I already know the answer. And that would be that I'm so tired and I'm so stressed out by the time that I get to sit down and make a video that I don't have the lighting and the time and the energy to be able to do a different type of video. And that really, really annoys me a lot. So, yeah. Anyway, anybody who's subscribed to me knows that I'm crazy and weird and boring and monotonous and long-winded and chatty and rambly and random. So, yeah. Anyway, he smells so good. This is Ben Gingerman and uh, I guess you could say he's my guest today. We're holding on to Christmas. As you can see, I am not getting rid of Christmas yet. Um, everybody else wanted to get rid of Christmas, but it is still Christmas in my room because I get so sad when we take down Christmas decorations and the tree and all that stuff. And I know they have to come down eventually, but it's like if I can just keep it up a little longer, then I'll feel better. Anyway, um. What else? I'm pretty tired. In a little less than two weeks, Hugo will be here, so I'm very happy about that. Um, happy, excited, nervous, among other plethoras of feelings. Um, but mostly happy and excited. It's been quite a while since we've been together, and uh, this is going to be a monumental moment for both of us. Um, and for now, the less said about that, the better. Um, I, uh, what, the video I wanted to make earlier today was nail polish of the day. I was thinking about it all day. I was thinking, okay, you know, I haven't been doing very many nail polish attic videos and I'm not sure what to do about that. And I want to do more, but I'm just not really in the mode to do that. And I haven't bought any new nail polish lately. So, ow, oh crap, my shoulder's killing me. Did a lot of weights yesterday. Um, ooh, still hurts. Anyway, uh, train of thought. Oh yeah, nail polish. Um, so I was thinking, you know, what if like once a week I did a nail polish of the week, actually, not day, nail polish of the week video, because usually I keep my nail polish on for about a week, if not a week and a half, depending on how long it lasts, or if I have to do something like a cleaning job with my hands where it's gonna chip off. I'm not doing well. My laptop's sliding off my lap. I'm not doing well. I'm like, you know how I said that I don't swear very much? Well, I'm swearing a lot in my head lately. And that's not good. That's not good for anybody. None of these people that live in my head like it very much. And they're trying to be supportive and encouraging to me, but I'm a big old grouch. And I really want to swear. Flippity gibbert. I guess I'm going to talk a little bit about annoyances, which is a very, very uh, prominent subject for me. Um, I'm pretty annoyed right now because, okay, I never had a lock on my door at the other house. And so at this house, since we moved here, um, I had a lock on my door and I lock it 
when I can or when I need privacy, when I'm getting dressed so people don't walk in on me uh, when I'm making a video, which I didn't this time for some reason. Oh, my shoulder's still killing me. Um, and so I locked the door and then people grab the doorknob and are like, you know, and trying to turn it and turn it and turn it. Like, you're gonna get it open? I don't think so. You wanna break my freaking door? So I'm like, I just don't get it because when my door is unlocked, they knock on the door before they come in. And I'm like, what? Why not knock the other time too? You know, it's just, there's just <sighs> broken, appalling lack of logic. So anyway, I was talking about nail polish of the week. I got really sidetracked. <sighs> so, even though I didn't get to do a specific formal video of it, this is my nail polish of the week. It's one I've had for a while. I don't know whether they sell it anymore. They might. Um, it's let me think, New York Colors. Something like Battery Park. And you can't really tell. It looks kind of black, but really it's like supposed to be a dark purple, but it's more of a wine color. A purplish red. Like very, very dark. And it's a cool color. I don't know if you remember in the 90s, but there used to be what was really popular that came out in nail polish was a very, very deep red that almost looked black. And some nail polishes just call it blackest red. Um, and it was a really cool color. It was kind of like goth or vampy for people who weren't goth and weren't vampy, but they were just trying to be fashionable. I know this because a lot of women would wear it that were kind of like, you know, really fashionable women. Um, even my boss at Mervyn's when she, that, when I worked there briefly, um, she was, yeah, wore that, I remember. So, yeah. Anyway, um, that's my nail polish of the week. And, uh, I wish that that would have been specific to you know, a nail polish video, but maybe next time. Ooh, I'm getting a draft in here. Um, I'm hoping it will snow. I don't have much hope of it lately, but everybody else is getting snow around us but us, so I'm wearing my snowflake necklace. And, um, my snowman earrings. And, yeah, so, um, that's like my last wish for snow. Oh my goodness, it's cold all of a sudden. That's insane. I got a draft. See, my bed is right by my window and and it uh, does that. I wish I had a sweater, but I really don't feel like getting a sweater right now because, see, I have like a bunk bed. It's not really a bunk bed. Okay, it's called a loft bed. So like, it's a little ways down to the floor. And then I have to climb back up again, and I just feel lazy right now, and my legs hurt from my workout yesterday. And I know I'm shaking this, and YouTube's gonna be like, your video is all shaky, can we fix it for you? And I'm gonna be like, no, because you make it look like crap. Um, so yeah, I don't want to go get a sweater, I'm lazy. I'll just contend and shiver. <sighs> I really don't have much else to say. Um, maybe I should make myself a little bit accountable for my uh, workouts. Usually make a vlog and spark people when I'm gonna do that, but I'm not really going there. I should probably put my spark people here on my YouTube page too. Um, well, I forgot what I was gonna say. Uh. Uh, um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, accountability, uh, well, it's not really accountability, but I'm really trying to make it where I can 
um, get more strength. Okay, more endurance in my strength training, which means arms and chest and shoulders and back. Um, more stability and balance in my core, abs, and in my legs, more strength so that I can feel stronger and get back to the places that I used to be when I was working out completely awesomely and doing Billy Blank's boot camp. What the hell? How was I doing that? I'm now I'm like, oh, such a wimp right now. <sighs> yeah, I'm real great. Great. But I'm I'm trying to get back. And uh yeah. I'm just really frustrated about the why because I'm still going there and still doing my thing and I had a really good day Monday, you know, trying to get myself known and make connections with people and tell them, you know, that I am a trainer, I'm just not officially and I'm working my way in and I'm here to help and all this stuff and I talked to one of the trainers but the one that I'm supposed to work with, she just, well, I am going to write you tonight. Did she write me? No. Did she ever write me? No. Did she ever call me? No. Did she ever answer me when I try to get a hold of her? No. I mean, I understand people have busy lives, but it's like, oh, I would really like some help here, and I'm not getting any. So that being said, I've rambled on enough. So I'm going to say sayonara for now and I probably just said that totally wrong. It's probably like hello or something in some language that's Asian and horrible because I know that that was either Japanese or Korean and if I say that it's one of them then I will be wrong and be a jerk for being ignorant so I'm just gonna say goodbye. Adios.